Ugeni siku ya hata uongoshe miguu siku ya kwanza. Siku ya pili ajioshe miguu na akule mudhokoi. Sa ile hata gideni akule hiyo. Siku ya tatu mpe jende na panga akalipe. Sasa huyu ni siku ya ngapi? Tumpatie jende na panga. In other words, we are saying, now you are not a visitor anymore. Now you can get a jembe. Jembe is the one you go digging with. And a uh, panga to go clear in the field for you. Because this pulpit has received you. That's all right. And you are the servant of the Lord to come and share with you. Jump to verse 6. Finally, verse 17.
Thank you. Let's just pray. Man shall not live by bread, but by that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Father, for the bread of life. Whereof again you have said, man cannot, will not, shall not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. So now, dear Lord, does this your word? From your mouth, that rhema word, that preceding word, comes through these lips of clay, cause it to be life and bread indeed. Father, to the building and edification of these your precious people, grant this we ask in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Allow me this morning, God's people, to encourage you, I hope, with this thought in mind. Thank you, Penina. Thank you, Penina. Again, again, hallelujah. So I'm going to preach this morning from this special scripture. I heard among the parents that were dedicating children this morning, one was called Penina. Now, it's not that Penina. This Penina here is a very good one. I'm not talking about this Penina. This, the other Penina, this one is another one. Okay? So, we have... Man of God, Elkanah, he gets his first wife. Tries and tries and tries. Unfortunately, they have no children. They are in an era where children mattered very, very much. And especially sons. And so out of frustration or maybe finding a way out, he decides to take a second wife. And the second wife that he takes is named Penina. His first wife is Hannah. Now, if Penina was just an ordinary woman, would have said, granted, let it be. Unfortunately, the second wife, woman that he married, was not a quiet person. She talked. She yapped. And as you shall see earlier on, she was a professional in poking people in the eye. And I am going to take her in a non-gender sense. In that, there are many ways that the good Lord takes us to where we are supposed to go. Sometimes, by his grace, he can use education. He can use a connection. And he can use so many ways. But one of the ways that the good Lord takes you and me to our destiny is what I'm calling the University of Penina. <laughs> now, let me start with a few definitions. Who is Penina? Or what is Penina? Penina is that person who is anointed and appointed to trouble you. <laughs> anointed and to trouble you. And up to now, you have been binding Penina. You have been saying back to sender Regarding Penina, you have been saying, die by fire and the thunder. 
Penina. But this preacher from Zambia has come with some bad news for you. Penina is going nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please help me preach this morning. Tell your neighbor on your right and on your left, Penina is going nowhere. Penina may be your boss. Penina may be your workmate. Penina may be your husband. Penina may be your choir mate. But here too, you have been asking, Lord, get rid of this Penina. He is the son. When I say she, remember Penina is non-gender. She is a thorn in my flesh. And so get rid of her. Again, I repeat myself. Penina is going. I said, Penina, help me remind your neighbor because they are looking at me now with that Kenya look. Tell them, pray, cry, dance, sing. She's going nowhere. Now, we have come, among other things, to interact with our men. And thank God for your men here. I saw Doc somewhere, the chairman general. Doc, God bless you. We came to interact with your men here and tap frequencies. So thank God for men. But I want to find out, in your opinion, who do you think are stronger, men or women? Already I can see men are very slow. Before they could answer, even think. <laughs> Women had already answered. Men were still analyzing. <laughs> you know men, they love to analyze. They were still analyzing my question. Where is it? Women already answered. <laughs> True. Women are very strong. Extremely strong. And I know that. Ah, if we men had to become pregnant once, <laughs> so I do know women are very strong. True, true, I speak. But you know, in my pastoring life, I have seen two situations which break women, which just makes them disintegrate, and they are not easy situations. And Mother Hannah had both of them. The first one of these is the pain of sharing her man with another woman. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. That one, mm -mm. No, women, that one, no, 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 not that one. I always remember a daughter of mine who, whose husband was going out with another man. Huh? Woman, woman, sorry, sorry. Ish. <laughs> sorry. And she, one time I meet her in the town center. She was talking to herself. I was talking, talking. She forgot I was near her. And then she realized I was nearby. Oh. Then she says, Papa, me, I can kill somebody. <laughs> I ignored her. She repeated herself, Papa, me, I can kill somebody. She said it three times, Papa, me, I can kill somebody. Uh, that is when I realized this thing is serious. Now, just in case you are here, I want that grace, <laughs> countering grace to act. 
you may not be in that situation, but please help me tell the neighbor on your right and on your left, don't kill somebody. <laughs> but I give to you that testimony to just show you the pain. So Hannah had the situation where she had to share her man with Benida. Problem number two, which irks my mother's sisters and daughters, is the problem of childlessness. The situation where she wants a child, but somehow or other is not able to. It's a frustrating situation. But the comfort thing I bring to you this morning is that even me who is preaching went through exactly the same thing. So I'm not preaching from nowhere. After getting married with my wife, Mama, we stayed for over six years with no child. And I would try to comfort my wife, Mama, me, I married you. I did not marry you for children. I reminded her, I said, for better, for richer, in the sickness, forsaking all others. I'm trying to refresh in the married people for a sake. <laughs> but she was uptight. And people would come from the village pretending to come and visit us. But they are coming on an inspection tour. <laughs> While they are talking to her, one eye would be on her, the other eye on the tummy. I, I remember empathizing with my wife. For me, seriously, I had said, even without children, this is my wife. And I'd even said, let it be. She had a workmate <laughs> who had the spirit of Penina. Penina, I said, is anointed and appointed. When she speaks, she doesn't need to apologize. No. She is speaking intentionally. If you cry, she has made a grade. Nah. Penina does not backbite. She front bites. She doesn't need to speak behind your back. No. She will tell you to your face. Hallelujah. Thank God. Many of you here look like me. Very black. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Black is beautiful. But you know. Some people don't like black people. Complexion. And so, Penina does not sympathize with your weakness. She actually takes advantage of your weakness. If you were born short, and it's not your choosing, it's God who made you the way you are. But Penina would tell you, you short thing. <laughs> Some of us, by God's grace, I learned a Swahili word yesterday. One of our names of the people here is Simu Konde. I'm told there's a Swahili equivalent. That means you're not slim. What is that one? What, how do you say it, Pastor? Simukonda. 
Simu konde. So for you, you are Simu Konda. You look like a small elephant. So, when you are coming, they don't know whether you are coming or you are going. Because whichever way you are going, it is, it is the same. And Penina will tell you, no apology. And I know as I'm preaching right now, there are some of you who are identifying with what I am saying. There is a penina in the office. There is a penina in your bedroom. <laughs> there is a penina at the farm. And up to now, you've been getting riled. Lord, get rid of this person. But again, here I come from Mother Zambia to come and encourage you. Penina is going nowhere. Over there, Penina is going nowhere. Can I hear you, hear you there? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. For the people on the balcony, please tell your neighbor, Penina is going nowhere. Aha. Uh -huh. We are teaching you a bit of Zambian English. So, in Zambia, we don't say nowhere. We say nowhere. So, help me tell your neighbor, Penina is going nowhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In verse 7, the Bible says, And she did so year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord. She saw so she provoked her daily. Therefore, she wept and did not eat. Hmm. You're following? She provoked her until she wept. Provoked her until she could not Eat. Help me tell your neighbor that is Penina. <laughs> Until sweetheart, you cannot eat and you are weeping. <laughs> to make matters worse, <laughs> even to church, she followed her. Some of us come to church with the hope that I'm coming to a sanctuary where there is peace like a river at end. Now, unfortunately, Penina does not respect the house of God. Even to church, she follows you. And I may be talking to somebody this morning. Even in church, Penina has followed you. And you are saying, give me a break, please. This preacher from Zambia has come to tell you, no break, please. She will not give you a break. And so, that is who she is. And that is the spirit. Now, secondly, the name Penina has a very interesting meaning. It means jewel. J. E W E L. Eh? It means diamond. Huh? Now, already you are looking at me with that Kenya look. But I am telling you, Penina is diamond. I come from a mining country, our business is mining all types of minerals and stones. Penina is an emerald. I don't know whether here you have precious stones. You have, which ones do you have, sir? Which precious stones do you have here? Any, 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 any. Okay, you know, on earth, as Christians, we can bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. 
So you have diamonds. <laughs> Penina is a diamond. Now I know you are looking at me with that look. How? That person who is anointed and appointed to trouble me. Bishop, you are telling me a diamond? Yes. Bishop, you are telling me emerald? Yes. Bishop, you are telling me sapphire? Yes. Other minerals, precious stones from here. Penina is a gemstone. Clap for yourself, son. Yes. Yeah. Somebody here? <laughs> Which one? Galuko. Galuko. Ja. Jaluko. Daluko. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever that means, she's a daluko. <laughs> but as irritating, as vexing, as uncomfortable as she has made you, the meaning of her name is she is a jewel. She is a blessing. She is a good thing in your life. And I know it may not seem so right now, but here I am upon this altar to come and say to you, thank God for Penina. I said, thank God for Penina. One more time, thank God for Penina. Your amen is very, very weak. And I don't blame you. But let me force you. Thank God for Penina. Ah, that is better. Help me tell the person on your right and on your left, thank God for Penina. Ah, because in the life of Hannah, it was Penina who taught her how to go to the house of God. It was the mouth of Penina that taught her to get on her knees and vow a vow before Jehovah God, saying, Lord, if you will only but give me a male child, I will surrender him to you all of the days of his life. It was Penina who taught her to pray. It was Penina who taught her how to believe God. Ah, one time, Penina, sorry, Hannah, is in the church. She is burdened. She's so burdened that words can't come out. She's just moving her lips. And then the high priest, Bishop Simusa, comes to a burdened woman who has just come from tongue lashing from Penina. She is at the altar. And then Bishop Simusa says, you drunk woman. Hey, get out of here. If it was you, I tell you, you drunken woman. And meanwhile, you are pouring your heart before God. And me, your bishop, comes and tells you, drunk, get out of here. Hey. You would get up. You would tie your kitenge around your waist. You would stand like this. And tell me something I will never forget. As long as I live. But dearly beloved, not so Mother Hannah. No matter what Eli said, no matter how she was understood, her mouth was zipped. She answered not wrongly. Who taught her that? It was Penina. It was the tongue lashing by Penina day after day after day that brought her to a place where she could tolerate anything. Thank God for Penina. I said, thank God for Penina. Amen. One more time, thank God for Penina. Amen. She taught Hannah how to pray. 
she taught her how, dearly beloved, to restrain herself. I, I'm a preacher, pastor today. Let me tell you briefly, I hope, how I became a pastor. I am not pastor material. I am not joking. All throughout my life, when I was at school, thank you, sir, the Lord bless you, I had wanted to be a research scientist. And that was my life, test tubes, chemicals, analyzing, thinking of new things. And so, becoming a preacher was never in my agenda at all. Truth of God, I tell you. Even right now, I know I speak very fast. But before, I was worse than this. Let me use Kenyan English, I was worse. <laughs> then you'll understand what I'm saying. You could not understand me. I used to speak like a typewriter. Kata, 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 kata. Impossible to follow. So one day, I went for an SU, Scripture Union meeting, in some place. Fortunately or unfortunately, the guest speaker did not stand up. I was the only visitor. <laughs> and so, they said, since the guest speaker is not here, we are going to call upon you, Gaiti, that's my first name, Gaiti, to speak to us tonight. Hey. my knees began to have fellowship one with the other. <laughs> and no exaggeration. Inside me, I was trembling. I was not a preacher. No. And so I am shaking. Now, if that was all, would have said, okay, perhaps. But to add salt to injury, on my right, if I remember correctly, there was a seated Epenina. <laughs> he had a long beard. Fat. He was the patron of that SU group who knew me very well and knew my family quite well. So immediately they said, Gaiti is going to preach. I am not exaggerating. Without backbiting me, he front beat me. <laughs> With me listening, he said, pointing at me, standing up on the top of my head, this one cannot preach. This one here cannot preach. Nobody will understand him. No, there's no way to add salt to injury. I have a younger brother, my immediate young brother. He is the exact opposite of me. Me, I am black color. Him, he is brown like Bishop Kimani. Nice, smooth skin. And my brother had an American accent. Not this one of mine, where you can pick. I'm from Shonongo. What's that village? What's my village? Huh? Not my accent from Shamakoko village. <laughs> so with me hearing, he says, this one can't preach unless his brother, his name is Foster, Unless his brother foster, not him. And you can imagine I am being told that even before I stand up to hold the Bible. <laughs> hey, dearly beloved, 
it was that voice of Penina that was telling me you can't preach. It was that voice of Penina that told me, unless your brother. It was that voice of Penina that told me, you, you are not preacher material. It was that voice of Penina that dearly beloved me took me to the altar of Almighty God. It was that voice of Penina, dearly beloved, that made me get down on my knees and say, some may trust in chariots, some may trust in horses, but I shall remember the name of the Lord my God. It was the voice of Penina's feet. Ah! That made me know it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the spirit of Jehovah God. Hallelujah. And dearly beloved, because of the voice of Penina, you, that one who told me I would never become a preacher, I want to testify before all of you here to the grace of Almighty God. I have preached in Johannesburg. I have preached in Gaberon. I have preached in Harare. I have preached in Ilongwe. I have preached in Nairobi. I am at Zimmerman right now. The very one that was saying, I am not a preacher. Thank you. And by the grace of God, I'm going to preach in New York City, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Penina, who said I would never be a preacher, by the grace of Almighty God, I've come here to tell you, Penina, you were wrong. I said, Benina, you were wrong. Yes. And I'm standing here at this altar declaring over every word. Benina has spoken over you, my son and my daughter. I've come to tell you, Benina was wrong. I said, Benina was wrong. And by the grace of Almighty God, everything that Benina said you will never do, you are going to do. Everything Benina said you will never become, you are going to become. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me, who they said I'm not pastor material. Today, I am a senior pastor of Maranatha Church, Zambia Limited, international, with the Pharisees like those there. Stand up, my Pharisees. Stand up, my Pharisees. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 I said hallelujah. Somebody said, Benina, you were wrong. Say it one more time. And so I declare over every one of you today, your penina shall be proved a liar. Your penina shall be proved a liar. Oh, glory, 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 glory. My daughter, hear me this morning. That one who told you that you shall never get married. I've come here to come and tell you she is going to be wrong because God Almighty shall give you a husband in the name of Jesus. That Penina that told you you shall never drive a car. I've come to tell you before this year is over you shall drive your own car in the name of the Lord Jesus. That Penina that told you you shall never have your own house. I'm telling you Penina is a liar. You are going to go in your own house. Somebody shall hear. Yeah. Somebody shall hear. Yeah. One more time, yeah. yeah. Mm. I know this morning our numbers are a bit many, but just for two minutes, please stand tell five people Penina was wrong, oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Penina was wrong. Penina was wrong. Penina was wrong. Penina was wrong. I said Penina was wrong. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit of Almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They may trust in 
chariots. They may trust in horses. You shall remember the name of the Lord your God. And I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, God is coming through for you. God is coming through for you. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but before Friday, five days from now, God is coming through for you. And Penina shall be wrong. Penina shall be wrong. Yeah! Ha! 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 I shall be through shortly. Aha! And so now, this is the time to call Penina. Penina! 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 Come! I said Penina! 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 Penina, wherever you are, wherever you are, we are calling you today. Wherever you are hiding, Penina, we want you to come here. Why? So you can see what the good Lord has done in my life. Penina, for you to see, my God is able. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Penina, I am calling you because you told me I would never get married. Penina, come, Penina, come. Come and see my sweetheart. Come and see my darling. Penina, you were wrong. I said, Penina, you were wrong. Come on, Penina, I'm calling you. Penina, I'm calling you. You said I'll never get a degree. You said I'll never get a PhD. Penina, come. Penina, come. In my hand is my PhD. In my hand is my certificate. Penina, you were wrong. I said, Penina, you were wrong. Hallelujah. Right now, as you are standing, please help me tell five people, Penina, you were wrong. 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 The choir, worship team, keep coming up, please. Let me have you on the stage. Come and tell them, Penina was wrong. Penina was wrong. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus let me take this word literally. Maybe you are here today. I believe in the God of all things are possible. Maybe you do not have a child. God bless you. But I want to believe God with you today. People have laughed at you. Say you don't have a child. My daughter, I was in your position. In the same way God came through for me and gave me a firstborn girl child. May it happen to you. May it happen to you. May it happen to you. So that before December 31, 2019, you hold in your hand. You'll hold a baby in your hand. I said you'll hold a baby in your hand. I said you'll hold a baby in your hand. In the name of Jesus, I want to put a prophetic picture into your spirit right now. Any of the parents nearby here who dedicated a child this morning, come with your baby, please, in your hands. I want to put a prophetic picture in your spirit. Any mother with a baby nearby, please come up front here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All things are possible. I said all things are possible. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Everybody who said to you, you shall never have a child. I stand at this altar here and declare that devil is a liar. Come on, begin rocking your babies. Begin rocking your babies. Begin rocking your babies. Begin rocking your babies. Rock the babies. That is your portion, my daughter. That is your portion, my daughter. May God hear our cry. I speak to barrenness right now. I speak to that barren womb right now. Whatever is wrong, I said you are right. In the name of Jesus, every satanic word spoken over you, I reverse it today. In the name of Jesus, you shall have your Samuel. 
You shall have your Samuel. You shall have your Samuel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your Samuel may not be a literal baby. Your Samuel may not be a baby like this one. Your Samuel may be a car. Your Samuel may be a house. Your Samuel may be a degree. Receive your Samuel.